All right, Cole, when I, when I talk to everybody about you, the, the word that comes up more than anything is kind of confidence, swagger. Uh, where do you get that from? Um, it's just, it's something that I've developed over the years just from working really hard. And I got to give a lot of credit to two of my old AAU coaches, one being Terrence Williams, a.k.a. Munch, and then my middle school coach, who, well, Terrence, uh, Coach Munch, coached me all through a high school, and then my middle school coach, Coach Stephen Harris. They just two dudes who really believed in me from the start, even when I, I can't say I didn't fully believe in myself and just boosted my confidence every single day. You are the ultimate gym rat. Uh, they cannot get you out of the gym. What, what are you doing now during the pandemic? How do you, are, are you going out of your mind not being able to get in the gym and work out? Or do you have somewhere that you can go and have been going to stay in shape? Oh, um, well, to stay in shape actually is what me and um, a few of my closest friends have been doing. Like actually yesterday, we, we've been going to a field in the track. So <laughs> we, we doing, we have my, um, we have a good friend of mine who is a little bit of a muscle head who gave us a whole workout plan. We've been doing that where it involves just a bunch of running, uh, calisthenics. It's just, it, it's a tough plan. I'm actually still sore right now from the workout we did yesterday. Is it's so in order to stay in the shape, I think we're good. What, what about shooting? What about, you know, some of the basketball skills? How have you been able to, to, to stay on top or stay sharp with those, or have you not? Um, well, I've actually been able to sneak into the gym a little bit just at late at night. So the way we're doing is that it's just it's minimal contact. We have just me, my trainer in the gym, and um, no one else. We just get in there, we get our work done, we get out, and we just go straight from point A to point B. So it's a lot of, it's minimal contact. So um, we're just, we're able to get that done. So I've been able to get some shots up. We just, we aren't able to do it that too often, but when we're in there, we just, we, we go extremely hard. So give me, for somebody that has not seen you play, Cole, break down your game. Give me a scouting report on Cole Anthony. Um, I think um, an all around player. I can guard, I think I'm a pretty solid passer, pretty decent score. Um, I really think I, I can do everything. I think I rebound the ball. As I said, I, I pass. I just I don't think that I have a point, a part of my game that I, I wouldn't say is a positive, but that doesn't mean I can't keep getting better in every aspect. What, what's the best comparison? You're an NBA guy. I know you've watched uh, plenty. I know you know the comparison game is played, and people love to do it. Uh, give me the best comparison you've heard. The best comparison I've heard would probably be Damian Lillard. That's my that'd probably be my favorite comparison. This is pretty good his one to tenacity out. off. <laughs> nah, it's not a bad one at all, but it's just his tenacity and scoring. And it's just a, a, someone who didn't always have it handed it to He didn't always have it handed to him. Obviously went to Weber State, a smaller school. And it's just someone who always worked hard and still is continuing to work hard and get better. Adversity. What's the most adversity that you have gone through in your life, Cole? Um, I know you went through some last year at North Carolina, but beside that, has there been something that's kind of made you a stronger person on or off the court? Honestly, no, not before this Carolina season. I've had a very blessed life. My, like I've been blessed to have two wonderful, more than two wonderful parents. I have two wonderful step parents as well. There's people, a lot of people who care for me in my life. So I really have been blessed enough. I have a bunch of great friends. Just really haven't dealt with much adversity in life. And I'd say like probably the last two years, like going to Oak Hill was tough just being there. The basketball was amazing. Loved it there. Loved Coach Smith. Loved all my teammates. But in terms of like an actual year of basketball, Carolina was probably the toughest year I've had, which is in terms of dealing with adversity and stuff. Besides that, I've lived a blessed life so far up until this point. Why do you think you should be the number one point guard off the board in, in this draft? I, I just think that to whatever team wants to take a chance on me, I just think you'll get someone who's going to work as hard as they can every single day, not going to make excuses. Just going to get in there, work, try to make everyone around them better, and just and then also be a great teammate. Just going to be have the good energy to be around. And someone who I promise they will not regret uh, drafting. So rumor has it that nobody likes to eat more pizza than you. <laughs> that rumor is true right there. I'm a, I can confirm that rumor. I can confirm so like, that. Pizza, like, like how, many, how many straight meals could you eat pizza? If we're being truthful, yeah. like straight meal, like three meals a day, I probably could last a good couple weeks. <laughs> At some point, I'm going to want to switch it up. But 
like you just got to keep switching the brand like which brand of pizza you're eating if it's frozen like takeout it's just you know it's a matter of being what smart what do, you, what do you like on your pizza what are we, what are we going oh, I'm, I'm a basic guy all i all i need is cheese just, basic just play guy. keep it simple and yeah, what, what chain? Easy, i'm easy to please what's your go-to chain um, you know pizza place you have one let's see I don't have a go. I wouldn't say I have a go-to. I'm, I'm not very picky. Are you a New York about. pizza guy, Cole? Are you a New York pizza guy? I am. Or no? I, am. I, I can confirm after going down to Chapel Hill for a year, the pizza's not as good. It's not as no, good. No, it's not. That's the it's one not. thing. That's the one one uh, negative thing I can say about Chapel Hill. Yeah, I've I, I've done New York pizza. I've lived in 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 Queens, so I've done New York pizza. You're right. Oh, so Chapel you know, Hill pizza, not even close. You know, not the same. You got to tell me what is this Medicom Bears thing that, that you have? I, I don't I don't get it. I've heard you've got kind of a little collection of these bears. What 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 is this called? <laughs> the bear bricks. You know, I honestly didn't know what you were talking about until you just put that picture up on the screen. So uh, yeah, so I actually I had these I had these in my room down at UNC. Um, someone that I had met in the past actually sent me these, and I thought they were pretty cool. So I just I brought them down to UNC with me, had them decorated my room, and you know I got a little got a little nice collection now. I might have to I probably will start adding to the collection soon. So, so they're, I, they're I pretty cool. I'm surprised online. you heard about them. I, yeah, well, like I did my research, right? I'm I'm trying to find out a little bit, <laughs> and and I looked online. One of these like Chanel bear bricks. Do you know how much it's going for online? Any idea? Take a guess. Some of them go for a lot of money. I'd say that one might have like five thousand. 20 grand, Cole. 20,000. Dang. Jeez. You gonna buy that thing? Probably not. I don't think, I don't have that type of money yet. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe when you get that first, in the near future. that first NBA paycheck, maybe he'll, maybe he'll go hey, shopping for one of bears. If I'm blessed enough to get that type of money, I'm gonna get my, all my priorities straight, but then maybe if I have a little less over cash, I might get one of those. Thanks, man. Be safe, and I uh, hope we will see you, uh, we'll see you at the draft soon, or the combine or something. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Take care, man.